And then that third group that Louis and David brought forth, again, another output mechanism not requiring uh, in nociception is, you know, what they termed the motor autonomic, which really, if you had another way of thinking about it, because we know the great work of Ramachandran brought forth when he realized phantom pain. How the heck can someone hurt in a limb that's not there? Well, damn, we got a small little limb within our motor and sensory cortex that has representation. Well, that's easy to pick up when they don't have limbs. <laughs> what about when they have limbs? <laughs> And that was really some of the great work that Lorimer and all of them did early on when they started to realize that people could um, really lose representation of um, certain body parts rel relevant to persistent symptoms. And even some of the early studies in 1995 showed that could happen in axial low back pain, in persistent pain. And so how do you know that I'm actually dealing with an output mechanism that's not really yellow flag related, like stinking thinking and believing or emotional social coping, but it's really related to the fact that I have just decided in my brain to re-represent that body part as a protective mechanism and smudge it. <laughs> 